Well, as we continue to work on our simple form, which is designed for us to receive feedback from a user of our help system, it's time now to add the two buttons that people will use either to submit this content or to reset the form and start over. So let's just hit enter a couple of times if we have to here after our additional comments field. And this is where we're going to insert our two buttons. We'll start with the submit button. So we go up to the insert menu, down to HTML, and then down to form. And one of the form elements we want in this case is a submit button. So we give it a click and then notice it says submit query. So we can change that obviously. Let's double click the button itself to open up the button properties. And you can see what it's doing. It's submitting and we can either see the caption, which will be submit query, or if we prefer, we could use an image. And in that case, you probably want to find the image that suits a submit or send option. Let's go back to caption here. We'll keep the identifier as submit, but we're going to change the button caption that we see from submit query to send, just like that. We also have the ability here to show reset or just a plain button that has nothing on it. But in this case, it is a submit button. We're going to use the identifier to submit and it's going to say send. So when we click OK, we now have our send button. All right, let's just click after the send button hit the space bar a couple of times, maybe three altogether to leave some room between it and the button we're about to add, which is a reset button. When we click insert and go down to HTML again, over to form, this time we'll choose reset. Now it does say reset, which is perfect. We can double click that. Notice reset is selected for us. The identifier is reset and the caption says reset. Everything's fine actually, so let's just click okay and test this out. The easiest way to do that is to save up our changes and use Control W to preview. Now from here, you'll notice our form has a comment field. Let's just click and drag over that and type in our own text. All right, let's say we want to reset this. We can click the reset button and sure enough, it goes right back to the placeholder text that says replace this text with your own comments. Any other fields that were filled in would also be cleared and reset back to this original form. All right, so we'll close that up. And now we have what looks to be a completed form, including send and reset buttons. And of course, we're at the stage now where we might want to change the way the form looks. So we're going to get into the properties next.